Oh, baby. Arabica beans. Oh, this. Do you know, sometimes I fancy a cappuccino, sometimes I fancy a latte. What are you? Are you a latte person or are you a cappuccino person? What am I talking about? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is not Monday. Uh, I've been working for the last couple of days. So we get to go Blu-ray hunting on a lovely Wednesday. Yes, uh, today we are heading over to the city of Canterbury, the one with the big cathedral. Yes, although I think you have to pay to go around that, so maybe not today. Yeah, um, it's overcast today. Overcast? <laughs> overcast? Yeah, it's overcast. Um, thankfully, that intense heat is buggered off now, pissed off somewhere. Uh, it's but it's still muggy. I think it's going to be a very muggy day today. It's going to be almost, almost like my Stranger Thing with all my flames, yes. So uh, I think I'm going to get sticky in places that don't usually get sticky. Or maybe my sticky bits are going to get even stickier. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm leaving the air conditioning on so the engine is running. Uh, but uh, hopefully it won't blow up uh, because I've already had a... Uh, a, a, a head bulb blow so I need to go and replace that later on bugger it but uh, I do have a list where's my list sat on my list <laughs> there is the list fantabulous yes okie dokie so uh, not a bad week not the best but we got some good stuff out so it's time to go to receiver position and receive from me yes who wants to receive from big Paulie? <laughs> okay so there we are right okie dokie first things first we have a monster yes we have a monster from Second Sight. This is the one with Charlie Theron, uh, where you wouldn't even know it's Charlie Theron. And in fact, if I met her down the alleyway somewhere, I'd bloody run. But I'd kick myself when I found out that it was really Charlie Theron. Holy shit, that makeup is probably one of the best makeups ever. And it's a bloody good film as well. Uh, that's a second sight release today, so I don't know if HMV is going to stock it. Um, hopefully, we'll see it. If not, I might have to order it online. We also have Firestarter. I'm a Firestarter. I'm a Firestarter. <laughs> yes, this is. Uh, it's not a sequel, I don't believe. I believe it's a remake, a remake of the classic Stephen King one. Um, that's got Drew Barrymore in. Yes, that's a classic film. I do own that edition. And uh, I picked that, I think that was 101 Films. I think I picked that version up in a box set when it was like five quid, it really reduced. Yeah. Don't know what the new one's like. I have seen the trailer. It looks okay. Yeah. Uh, we also have a Downton Abbey. That's right, the posh knobs are back. Yeah, a new era, which, do you know what? Actually, the trailer kind of looked fun, you know, with Maggie Smith go, you know, going to this big house in France or wherever it is. Um, but I haven't seen any of the other Downton Abbeys, so I don't know. Uh, but this is available on the Blu-ray. Yes, there's no still book, no 4K either, and uh, it's uh, available in HMV as an exclusive. I think you get an exclusive sleeve and maybe some postcards or art cards. Uh, we also have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the 4K still book. Da -da -da -da. Yes, uh, this looks really nice with the poster art. I do love them with the poster artwork on. My copy came a couple of days ago, so I've already done an unboxing for that. <coughs> Pardon me. So you can catch that unboxing on the videos. <laughs> uh, what else we've got? We've got a couple of Criterions. Yes, those posh twombs. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, we have the breaking point, which, yeah, sometimes we get that. And we also have Umberto. Umberto D. Umber I think it's Umberto D. I don't know. Uh, we have Randy Rhodes as well. Not Randy Pauly, Randy Rhodes. This is Reflections of a Guitar Icon. 
This is uh, the Ozzy Osbourne guitarist, famous for his crazy train riff uh, that unfortunately, I think he died in a, a plane crash, but uh, he was a fantastic, fantastic guitarist. Yes, I don't know if HMV will have that. Oh God, I've got a dizzy then. Don't shake your head too much, Paul, you're going dizzy. Hang on, I better have a bit of coffee. And make sure that I don't go too dizzy. I'm so dizzy, my head is spinning. Yeah. From Eureka, ka, 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 we have Man Without a Star. Okay. Our new from 101 Films, we have It's a Wicked World. <laughs> and also from 101 Films. Sometimes Aunt Martha does dreadful things. Who thought of that title? Who thought that would be a good title? Can you imagine if that had gone to the cinema and you were just walking along the road? Mm, what should we go and watch today? Mm, oh, there's a... Hey, why does it say sometimes our, Aunt, Aunt Martha does dreadful things on the top of the cinema? <laughs> what a load of old shit. <laughs> I don't know if the film is, but that's our little list. There we go. Okay, so yes, that is our list. So let's head to Canterbury, go and have a look, see what they've got. We'll also pop into the usual spots. We'll have CEX, and we'll also pop into the British Hut Thunderstorm, and also a couple of other charity shops, maybe Cancer Research and Research, Research, and what was that other one? Demelza, some shit like that. Yeah, um. Probably also head down to Asda, uh, and I don't have to worry about waiting for anybody to put shit on the shelves. <laughs> that's not a very good, that's not a, a site that you want to see, is it, in Asda, shit on the shelves. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, because it's Wednesday, so everything should already be out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Paul. Yeah, and also after that, we'll go down to Westwood Cross uh, to go down to Smith's Toys or Smith's Toys. Smith's Toys. Yeah, uh, go and have a look, see if they've got any new pop model figures, any new Star Wars shit and stuff like that. So uh, that'd be good. And um, I've got to get a bulb replaced in my car as well because my headlight's blown. So I'll probably pop into Halfords and uh, get them to do a bulb replacement service. Yeah, I know I've got to pay a bit, but I don't want to get my hand down there and get it all dirty and get get it stuck. What if I get my hand stuck in the headlight and I can't pull it out? Oh! <laughs> Just shut up, Paul, and get on with the Blu-ray hunting. Right, let's stop. Jesus Christ, eight minutes already. Let's go to Canterbury and um, let's see what they've got. Oh yes, baby. Let the Blu-ray hunting commands after I've had a sip of coffee. <laughs> Okay, so we're over here in Canterbury. I've parked undercover. Um, I'm going to go into town in a minute. I've got my list of lovely bits and pieces that are out this week. Uh, it's only like 22, 23 degrees, but it's very muggy. So it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable walking. I might chafe a bit. <laughs> yes. Anyway, let's get into town. It's only just gone, what, 20 past nine or so. Uh, let's go to our first stop. It's going to be the magnificent HMV with all their lovely retro sweets and shit. <laughs> and a little bit of physical media as well. Yeah, okie dokie, let's go to HMV. Yeah, it is. It's very muggy. Very muggy. It might rain. I haven't got an umbrella. I didn't think about being an umbrella. Ella, Ella. <laughs> yeah, um, also... When we go down to Westwood Cross, I've got to remember to go into Halfords uh, because I need to get them to replace a headlight bulb. I've got a headlight bulb that's just gone. <laughs> so it keeps throwing up a little light on my indicator on my uh, dashboard. But anyway, enough of that later on. Let's go to HMV. It's not Linda. It's not Veronica. I really don't know what her name is. All I know is she likes to go. As you are in, hang on, as you are in white fries, my love, I shall call you Whitney. Yes. Oh, 
Now does that say therapy or the rapey? Okay, so first stop for today, HMV. Let's go in and have a look and see what they've got this week. Okay, they have a nice little Downton Abbey display just as you walk in the door. Uh, with the Blu-rays there, a very nice Blu-ray cover there with a nice bit of gold shimmery shit. <laughs> £14.99 and also have the DVD in there as well. Um, they actually have a J.J. Abrams Pop Idol figure. Pop Idol? Pop... <laughs> God bless you, Darius. Uh, pop vinyl figure, yes. Uh, they have Abraham, Abraham, I'm losing it now, ain't you? Abraham from Us, pop vinyl figure. And they have a couple of Mandalorian uh, uh, calendars for next year, yeah. We're shopping for next year's calendars now. So I like the pose on that. I'm not sure about this one. It looks like a two-year-old actually did it. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Anyway, I'll stick that one back. Okay, on to the Blu-rays. Here we have one of the big releases of the week, Firestarter. I'm a Firestarter! I'm a Firestarter! £14.99. It's a good job I don't actually record this in store, isn't it? Yeah, and we also have the breaking point as well. I'm at breaking point, I really am. £22.99, that's some criterion. And uh, we have like a, a, a Sex and the City sequel, but there's only three. Kim Cattrall, where are you? Yeah, I know, her and the other one, the blonde one, didn't get on well, very well. Das Boot, season three, I really enjoyed this series. Not as good as the first two seasons, but it's still a good show. It is. And uh, we also have this uh, 300 Cine edition for £22.99, very nice. And tucked in here with the Criterions, we have Umberto D. Yes, he's, well, he's cuddling a dog there. That's nice. £22.99p. And uh, here's that one with a weird title. Yeah, saying about Aunt Neptune. Aunt Neptune. Aunt Martha. Yeah, I know she had a weird name. Uh, we have some sale items. We've got some the thing there. Uh, we have some Blu-rays, including Don't Breathe. What else have we got? Don't Breathe. And we have Cobra Kai Season 3. That's £8 in CEX. Still need to drop it a bit, pardon. Uh, we have some Godzilla there with a slip cover. Some more Don't Breathe. Little Women for £6. Uh, some Casablanca. And we have some Better Call Saul for 12 quid. That's pretty good. Uh, some more Cobra Kai, Lord of the Rings. Uh, we have uh, Intergalactic, which was shit. And what's that? A uh, beautiful day in the neighbourhood with uh, Mr Hanks. Lots of 4Ks here. We have... Uh, Jumanji there for £11.99. Uh, we have Almost Famous for £11.99. We have uh, American Made. And uh, what else we've got? We've got some Dragon, uh, some more Dragon, and uh, we have Snatch for the same price. Yeah, another Snatch. Yes, yeah, it's just been Snatched. We have some Resident Evil as well. They're down to £11.99. Uh, unfortunately, none of them have slip covers. That's a shame. Yes. Uh, what else have we got? What's this one? Jumanji again. Yeah, that's very nice. And we got some In the Line of Fire with Mr. Eastwood. And Don't Breathe. And Don't Breathe Again. And Last Action Hero for 12 quid. And some more Eastwood. Okay, uh, a few more bits here, including the Reminiscence for 10.99 on 4K. Uh, we have Series 1 of Das Boot. And we also have Discovery of Witches, I think that is. Some Animal House for 10.99. That's pretty good and another thing there as well uh, we have split for 10.99 good price we have that des with uh, david tennant some sing is that deer skin or whatever it's called yeah and uh west side story there and some better call Saul. matrix uh, that paranormal activity or whatever it's called and uh, some fear the walking dead and we have a nonce as well hello rob how are you Okay, so two pickups from HMV, a Blu-ray and a pop vinyl figure. I know. Let's go to our next stop, Glenn. Let's go to CEX. Okay, so as usual, let's go into CEX first and then we'll pop in the British Heart Foundation and uh, see what they've got. Okay, so we have some 4Ks, including Endgame. Uh, we also have Black Panther for £8 with a lovely slip cover. And we also have Doctor Strange there as well. We have some Last Jedi with a slip. Down here we've got some Massive Talent and some Uncharted 4Ks. Very nice. And uh, we also have the brilliant 10 Cloverfield Lane for £2.50. And we also have The Boys Season 1 for £12. 
nice. Uh, we have Band of the Brothers, the tin, and a couple of back Battlestar Galactica box sets. We have a very nice Captain Marvel retro slip, four pounds, I think that said. Plus we have a Tom Baker Doctor Who series, the slimmed down version, not the big collector's ones. And we also have a couple of seasons of The Expanse as well. That's pretty good. Uh, we have a rather lovely Marilyn collection here for £18. Looks like it's got four or five films. Bit tatty on the back of the box. But we have The Thing, the two movie box set for £10. Includes the original John Carpenter and the other one that came kind of like before it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we also have The Last Kingdom, the complete box set as well. That's pretty good. Okay, next stop. British Art Foundation, let's go and have a look. Okay, a few Blu-rays in here, including The Iron Lady, before she takes your milk away from you. Got Birdman over there, we've got some Hot Fuzz. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some Carlito's Way, I see some Toy Story 3 and some Raid, some Pitch Perfect 2. Uh, a lot of it is just general stuff. Has some Expendables, nothing that really stands out, unfortunately. Uh, they even have Child's Play, but I already have that one now. Why him? That's about it. Okay, so CEX had some, some good bits. Uh, I think they've sold a lot of stuff, but British Heart Foundation, just the usual common titles. Didn't see anything that stood out, uh, but we'll go and have another look in another charity shop or two. Uh, Cancer Research, uh, maybe the one that's downstairs. They haven't had a lot of media for a while. Uh, yeah, then we'll we'll head back to the car. Very quiet over here today, but it's still quite hot, uh, especially with the sun and the uh, humidity as well. But uh, let's go and have a look at the cancer research. Okay, let's pop into cancer research. I doubt they've got anything new in, but uh, let's go and have a ganders. Well, yeah, only a few few Blu-rays, unfortunately. Uh, but I did spot this uh, big DVD box set of the complete series of Gilmore Girls. Uh, I've heard of this show, but I've never watched a single episode. It's five pounds. Okay, so next stop is going to the Demelza. Go and have a look see if they've got anything downstairs. Pardon? Well, they do have a suitcase and a box down the bottom of the stairs here with a load of random DVDs. It's very common titles, sabotage and that. Stuff that we've seen a thousand times before. Lots of friends. Yeah, nothing special. Oh my God. I thought this heat is supposed to have gone now. This heat's supposed to have gone. It's still here. It's not as bright and sunshiny. It's still hot in the sun though, but it's not that, it's the bloody humidity. It's like 100%. Oh my God, it's so uncomfortable. And it's, it's tiring, it wears you out. Thankfully, it's only here until this weekend. And then that humidity can piss off, like it says in the forecast. Roll on winter, that's all I, I say. I'm looking forward to some lovely snow, even though David, David doesn't really get much snow. Anyway, oh, I've just been in uh, Tesco's just to get some apple and strawberries. Uh, I got a lovely Oasis drink. And what else do I do? I didn't get a sandwich. I got a Southern Fried Chicken wrap. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so muggy. It's horrible walking around town. <sighs> um, only good charity shop I picked something up in was the Cancer Research, which I'll show you later on. The only good thing about the British Heart Foundation is it's the only charity shop that has air conditioning. <laughs> None other charity shop has air conditioning. Yeah. Pardon me. Right, okay, so we're done in the town centre here. Uh, thank God for that. So let's go to our next stop. Let's go to Asda. Yes, it's Wednesday, so I don't have to worry about waiting for them to put shit on the shelf because it should already be there, squelching. Let's go to Asda then and uh, see what they've had in this week. Okay, so we are down here at Asda. Asda. I'm going to eat this first before we go in. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the cinema down here. Now, I don't know if, uh, if anybody lives around this area or that has been to Canterbury. They've had a two-screen Odeon cinema 
for many, many years. In fact, it was the same cinema me and Mama Bowman used to go to um, in the very late 80s, early 90s, more so the early 90s, I think. There used to be a blockbuster across the road, just up the road. Then there was a Safeway supermarket and we used to go in there and we used to get our bags of uh, chocolate coated peanuts and yogurt coated peanuts for the cinema. Yeah, then we would go in and we would see a film. And this was before any of the multiplexes opened down here. No cine worlds, no views, no showcase or all that kind of shit. Yeah, so uh, before multiplexes, this is even before we used to go all the way up to Rochester, uh, to the Virgin multiplex up there. So way before any of that lot opened. That was our closest cinema really, because the one in Dover closed in the 80s when VHS came out. Um, that was probably our closest cinema. So yeah, we would come to Canterbury. And um, it was still operating up until the pandemic. And then it closed and became a pandemic uh, a vaccination centre. And it's still got all the signs outside now, vaccination centre. Well, um, I didn't know whether or not it was ever re going to reopen because, you know, they're not doing the vaccines down here now. Uh, and apparently everybody was made redundant so they're probably going to close it i can't see it reopening uh, because i found out the other day that there's actually a either a new five screen or a six screen curzon cinema that's opening on the new student quarter the new student riverside quarter down here near near asda uh, and that's supposed to have like 400 seats spread across five or six screens especially one of those posh cinemas so I might try that out one day actually. Uh, I think it's supposed to open sometime next week or the week after. So it might be worth it. Uh, it says that it's got state of the art technology, state of the art uh, sound system and uh, projection and everything. So we'll go in, we'll have a look and uh, yeah, I'll try that when that opens. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame about the Ogin because I've got a lot of fond memories about going to the Ogin over here, here in Canterbury. Uh, I think I even actually came to the Odeon probably when I was like 15 or something. Even younger, maybe. That's how long it's been here. Forever. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I thought I'd show that, uh, share that little tidbit of um, reminiscing about old cinemas. Okie dokie, right, I'm going to scoff my face with some southern fried chicken. And then we're going to go into Asda and go and have a look, see what they've got on those lovely physical media shelves. Oh yes, show me the three pound DVDs, baby. <laughs> I think storm clouds are brewing. It looks very rainy. Plus I thought I saw something zip from one cloud to another. <laughs> yes, it's getting very cloudy. It does forecast rain actually, pretty much most of today, so. I'm surprised it hasn't rained by now. I'm so glad I got out of Canterbury town centre, city centre. There's a lovely breeze down here. Oh, and there's not so much of that mugginess. That must have been because it's all stifled up in the town. Yeah, with no air coming through between the buildings, but oh, it's lovely, lovely breeze down here. <laughs> As you can see, everything is out, including a Downton Abbey little thing on the side there. Yeah, anyway, on the 4Ks and the Blu-rays, we have the, the standard Blu-ray here. Very nice, and that's £15. Uh, what have we got up here? We've got some Fantastic Beasts and Operation Mincemeat, or whatever it was called, uh, plus the, the Northman for £15. Uh, massive Talent over there, yep, 15 quid. Some Dune. Uh, down here we still got the licorice peaches, still two of them for 15 quid, the uh, special edition ones. What else am I seeing here? Up on the DVDs, yeah, there we got Downton Abbey for 10 quid. We have the double pack, uh, includes the first film for 15 pounds, and we have Firestarter. I'm a Firestarter, I'm a Firestarter. Yes, that's enough of that, Paul. Uh, we've got a lot of blank slots here, pardon. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what's happened with all that lot. But look, we have the Reef. We have the Reef, what is it? Stalked from the director of uh, the Reef and Blackwater. 
Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. That looks good. Yes, I do like a nice big shark uh, with his mouth open. Yes. Uh, dog. Yeah, and some Toy Story down there. We also have this Dracula with the Michael Ironside for £7. And up here we have got X on DVD. I haven't seen this film, but I hear it's quite good. Uh, what else have we got? We have Stay Out. But don't tell me to stay out. Yeah, and um, oh, here we have another shark one. We have Shark Bait. This is from the producers of uh, another shark film, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it looks interesting. Uh, three pounds. Oh, is it? Plus, we also have Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, gee, what the hell? Oh, it looks like someone I work with. Yeah. Better put that back. And you better hope that they don't watch it. Oh. Uh, Oh dear me. Uh, down here, what have we got? We've got uh, Embattled, which looks like some wrestling film or some something like that. Five pounds, okay. Uh, Raised by Wolves there for 18 pounds. Uh, DVDs, what we've got down here? We've got some Norman Wisdom, da Norman Wisdom down there. Uh, we have The Reef stalked there as well. And we have Dode Return for five pounds. Uh, Peaky Blinders, the complete series for £50. Yes, a complete collection on DVD. Fantastic. Uh, Shadows, yeah, not bad, I saw that. Uh, we have the Narco Sub for £5. Interesting. And uh, down here we have uh, the Last Jewel DVD is now £5. We have Project Gemini for three quid. Uh, up here on the 4Ks, we've got the same 4Ks that were here last week. Nice big selection of Blu-rays with the Kong, Jaws and uh, all the Jurassics and Despicable Me's, yeah. I'm just contemplating picking up two Shark DVD movies. Yeah, they're going to be shit, but it's a bit of fun. I don't know. Yes, I picked them up. <laughs> I picked them up. The Reef, what's it called? The Reef Stalked and shark bait from the executive producers of great white and the 47 meters down series and this one's from the reef blackwater and blackwater abyss one was five quid i think one was seven pound it's never gonna be any kind of jaws you know jaws is the greatest shark movie of all time will never be beaten there are close seconds, such as The Shallows, which I really enjoy, and the first deep, deep, blue, deep, blue, deep Blue Sea. The other two can go to hell. I don't care about the other two. Um, but there are some great shark movies out there. But every now and again, you've got to indulge in some god-awful movies. It's sharks. It's sharks. You can't get any better than sharks. People in peril getting eaten. That's what life's all about. <laughs> and look at that. Yes, I know they might over-exaggerate with the uh, the sleeve. But shark movies. Shark movies must sell quite quite well. Because uh, old Durant Cinema and uh, all the guys over there, even Sue, Movies and Sue, pick up <laughs> loads of these. Plus we have our brothers here as well, Evander and Jamie. They all like to indulge in a bit of crap shark stuff but uh i don't know it's it's nice to get away from something serious that you have to do too much thinking in a movie and just watch mindless people getting eaten <laughs> so sue me whatever yes it's two dvds i don't care but uh whether there'll be one time watches they'll probably end up in the charity shop afterwards anyway so yes i did pick those two up and i am happy i bought those two uh i did watch black water was it what was it called the abyss it's black water the abyss i saw that is okay yeah they're never gonna win any oscars that's for sure but anyway there we go we are done here at as though um they had downton abbey um i don't think did I see Downton Abbey on Blu-ray? I don't, can't remember. I've only just come out of the store, I can't bloody remember. I know it's in there on DVD and a double pack. 
Uh, but uh, there weren't any major big releases out, and uh, they had Firestarter on DVD. I'm a Firestarter, I'm a Firestarter. Yeah, they had uh, Firestarter on. I'm a Firestarter on, <laughs> on DVD. Yeah. Um, but other than that, they had all the usual stuff. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we are done here at Asda. I think I've said that twice already. Let's get on the road, on the road again. And let's go down to... Westwood Cross to Smith's Toys and uh, just along the road from Smith's Toys is Halfords where I've got to get my bulb inserted <laughs> oh that's got a sting yes anyway let's get on the road and I'll see you down at Westwood Cross to Smith's Toys to have a look see if there's anything new yeah okay so I've just had the bulb put in the car over there by a lovely lady so it's time to go and brush your hair. <laughs> let's go into Smith's and have a look. Okay, let's go in, see if they've got anything new. Okay, so they've got some Moon Knight, uh, yeah, some Moon Knight figures, pop vinyl figures there, looking very white, and Scarlet Scarab as well from uh, Moon Knight, so pretty good. Uh, we have uh, Squid Game, player 001, and we have this very nice, colourful Jack Skellington, Nice, and also he, he Who Remains from Loki. Uh, this is a Summer Convention Limited Edition, very nice. Uh, we have this uh, Moana one that looks like it comes in a recycled box. Seriously, it looks like cardboard. Uh, and we also have Hedwig from Harry Potter. I don't know why I'm talking like that though. And we have Bambi as well, and this looks like a convention uh, special as well. Yeah, very nice. What else we got? We've got Wonder Vision, yeah, we've got the Vision here, looking very sparkly and silvery. And down here we have Slinky Dog from the Toy Story. He's a big Slinky Dog, this is probably full size. Yeah, and next to it, well, we also have what looks like could be a full size Mr. Potato Head. Yes, the nose goes there, that's right. Uh, what else we've got? Up here on the Star Wars stuff, we have the Mandalorian cradling little Grogu. We have a very large Star Wars Mandalorian Kenner figure. Very nice, they've got loads of those in stock. Uh, we've got some Black Series ones here from Mando. Very nice. Uh, we also have the client. There he is. Uh, resemblance is actually quite good. It is very good. Uh, plus we have uh, Bib Fortuna. And we also have Boba Fett there as, uh, as well. Very nice. And uh, these are new. Uh, this is a, uh, I don't know what they call, what the series is called, but this is Slave One. I take it this is from Mandalorian uh, or from Boba Fett, I'm not sure. But look, they have the Razor Crest. Oh my God. Look at the detail on this. I was seriously tempted in buying this. I actually might buy it on payday. That would look fantastic. Oh my God. It's only 30 quid as well. Down here we've got uh, Lola, yes, Princess Leia, little baby, little Princess Leia's little toy. Yes, from uh, the Obi-Wan series, very nice. I think there's a more expensive electronic one that's about 100 quid. I might not get that one, but uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, we also have some Harry Potter shit, uh, including the car. Look at the size of that to my hand. This is a whopping car from uh, Chamber of Secrets. It's 80 quid as well. And we have some little figures in there of, of Harry and... Um, um, oh, fuck, I now, I've forgotten his name. Rupert Grint, yeah. Um, we have a scout trooper up here, and we also have Fennec Shand as well from the Book of Boba Fett. Um, we have socks as well, the electronic socks for £80. Uh, we have a, a little plush one, yeah, little plush one. And uh, we also have a, kind of like a mid size one. I'm not sure what the price was in this, but. Uh, Still a little bit too expensive. Here's a little look at all the uh, the light year shit as well. So quite a lot in here. And uh, on the way out, uh, I saw this uh, Star Wars uh, arcade up pinball machine. It looks really nice. I don't know how much it was. I didn't look for the price. Noisy birds. It's got really dark all of a sudden. And I swear I just heard a few rumbles. And no, it wasn't my stomach. I'm sure we've got some thunderstorms on its way. But anyway, we are back into the cinema room. Uh, I didn't crank out the uh, the ring light. Ooh, 
<laughs> I think we've got enough room in here to do it, enough light as well. Yeah. So anyway, I picked up today five things. Yes. Before we get going, I was chatting to the bloke in HMV about Monster because I was looking for it. You know, the Charlie Theron second sight box. And he says uh, HMV stores don't really get them in now. You know, the, the new the HMV shop. Uh, they only do it on pre-order. So don't go into an HMV expecting a limited edition box set from someone like Second Sight or Arrow to actually be on the shelf because most cases it probably won't. He says, so as soon as you see it on the website, pre-order it because pr the uh, the website takes precedence over the stores, he says. Yeah, uh, and they only get in what a customer requests. So if two customers go in and say, can you pre-order this for me? They'll get it delivered to the store. Funny thing is, he told me he had two customers that pre-ordered Monster, but only one copy came in. Yeah, <laughs> oh dear. But uh, it's still in stock at HMV, so I'm probably just going to order it directly on the website. Anyway, so what did I pick up? First thing I picked up today, I saw this pop vinyl figure. I've never seen this pop vinyl figure before. This is so cool. Yeah, I saw this in HMV. I didn't know. I mean, I know they do pop vinyl figures for absolutely everything. They probably do a pop vinyl figure for a speck of dust. <laughs> um, but I didn't know they did it on filmmakers. I really didn't know. So I picked up the J.J. Abrams pop vinyl figure. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I really like J.J. Abrams. And, um, you know, what he did with the Star Trek films, you know. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't really like the, the Star Wars sequels. But, you know, he did two of those. Uh, plus, he also did Fringe and uh, one of the greatest shows of all time, Alias with Jennifer Garner, which was one of Bradley Cooper's very first acting roles. Um, and plus the brilliant Super uh, Super 8 as well. So yeah, he's done a lot of stuff that I really like. I just thought it was really cool, a pop vinyl figure about a director. Hopefully they do a Steven Spielberg. I might just have to get a series of pop vinyl figures of my favourite directors. Yeah, but uh, I love... I love his pose there with his glasses, just with his blue shirt on and his folded arms. That's so cool. And it was only £6.99. I don't suppose it's one of the big ones that people go for. You know, they will go for like Marvel stuff and and um, Squid Games and Stranger Things and that. But uh, I just thought that's a really, a really cool pop vinyl figure to own. So, yeah. Um, I mean, if they've got this, they've got Spielberg, maybe. Hopefully they've got Quentin Tarantino. Who knows? If you've got any of these pop vinyl figures for, like, directors, let me know which ones you've got. Stick it down in the comments. So I'll be on the lookout for that. But, yeah, I thought I'd crack, crack him open, uh, pardon, and display him uh, along with some J.G. Abrams stuff. Maybe I'll just actually display it with my, my new Super 8 still book. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Kind of chuffed with that. Really like that. Okay, uh, one of the uh, the big, uh, well, probably the big. No, there's two in there. You got Downton Abbey. That was a big release this week. But we also have Firestarter. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I've done it enough today. My throat's sore. Yes, so we have Firestarter. And this is based on the uh, the Stephen King classic novel. I have seen the first film. I really like the first film with Drew Barrymore. I do own it. Uh, but uh, I never saw this in the cinema. And uh, I watched the trailer. And I thought it looks good. It looks good. I, it's probably people going to say it's a lot of old crap. Uh, it is Blumhouse. Uh, from the producers of The Invisible Man. Includes alternate ending and deleted scenes. So I'll give it a go. You can only give it a go. Yeah, this was £14.99. Uh, includes 40 minutes of special features, including, including an alternate ending, deleted and extended scenes, a gag reel and more. So that's pretty good. And uh, it's DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Fantastic. OK, let's unbox it. Let's have a look. 
fantastic. I think I might swap the case out for maybe a black one. <laughs> yes, it goes really well with a black, I think. I think it actually would as well, um, because uh, we have black on here as well. So I think that would go really well with a black case. Oh, I like colour coding my cases. <sighs> so anyway, there is the Blu-ray. And uh, we have one disc with some artwork. Fantastic. And uh, I don't know who she is. Uh, she doesn't look familiar, so I don't think I don't think she's been in anything that I've seen, maybe. But uh, hopefully she's a good actor. So that is Firestarter. So I'll definitely be giving that one a go. Uh, of course... Shark bait and the reef. The reef stalked. Yes, had to pick these up. It's sharks. I can't say anything else than that. The thing, um, I know we all do Blu rays now and we all do 4Ks and we kind of overlook the DVDs, you know, because they are um, inferior quality so far as picture and sound. Usually the sound is only like Dolby Digital 5.1 and it's, what is it, 480p, uh, standard definition. Uh, but how long did we watch DVDs for? Weren't we absolutely gobsmacked when we went from VHS to DVD? Wasn't DVD the best quality image that you could possibly get? Yeah, back then it was. I know we've come a long way and... Uh, we're marvelling the, the high definition and the 4K, the Ultra HD these days. Uh, but there's no reason why we can't pick up some good old DVDs and keep the DVD market going. Um, a lot of us snigger at DVDs. You know, why are they still producing them? It is a mass market. There are a load of people that still buy DVDs. Uh, it was probably one of the driving forces behind... A physical media being sold in the, in the supermarket so uh, even though I've got a t-shirt you know do you remember I had that t-shirt made up you know stop sticking dvds up your ass and get into the 21st century that was done as a joke but um I still like dvds you know not everything comes out in blu-ray or 4k that's the thing a lot of tv shows don't even come out in um in blu-ray i mean are we ever going to see an a low a low blu-ray box set who knows they are just starting to creep in with things like 40 towers and uh you know sequest but uh there's a lot of stuff that we probably may never see but with the players as well they do upscale them so it is better the quality is better than just a standard dvd it just ups it a little bit. But uh, I don't have any problems with buying DVDs. Plus they're cheap. And we all moan about the end of physical media coming. What with digital. The digital revolution. And streaming. So we shouldn't really be moaning about physical media. Because I, I should imagine a lot of DVD sales. Is what's keeping physical media alive. Yes. But uh, anyway, that's me just going on a bit about DVDs. I've got sentimental memories of DVD and very happy memories of DVDs. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I love DVDs. Um, I love 4K and Blu-ray better, but I still love DVDs. OK, so let's have a look. What have we got? So we have The Reef Stalked. Uh, this is from the director of The, the Reef. Uh, which I have seen, uh, Blackwater, I don't think I've seen that one, but I've seen Blackwater Abyss, uh, and it just says, it will find you, and he's going to try and munch on her, <laughs> and I, I, to be honest, that looks really good, I mean, I, I should imagine the special effects on that outdoes, outdoes the special effects of Jaws, <laughs> <laughs> but of course, that was made back in the day. But, you know, what was it? What is it? Um, Martin McFly said in Back to the Future 2, shark still looks fake. <laughs> yes. So uh, it'd be interesting to watch this. I might do um, I might do a shark double because of these the thing with these films, they're never that long. You're not going to get a two hour, two and a half hour 
film like this. I mean, this is 90, 92 minutes, so they are usually only about 90 minutes, if not a little bit less. But uh, we do get some artwork on the disc as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, some, some nice pictures on there. So yeah, I look forward to watching that one. Um, plus we also have Shark Bait. Kind of looks a bit like the Meg kind of cover. Again, going after munching. So in fact, this one, she's on like a, a, what, a canoe or a rubber dinghy. And, and that one, they're on a jet ski. They'll never learn. <laughs> <laughs> this one does have a oh my god yeah this one does have a security tag on it uh this is from the executive producers of great white i haven't seen that one uh, and the 47 down series they are good films i really enjoyed those films and uh i might actually try and get those on blu-ray because i think in germany you can get both of those films on blu-ray i think one was one called 47 meters down uncaged or something i'm not sure but anyway, yes, there is the cover. Terror runs deep. Yeah, don't stop with the jet ski, love. Just open the throttle up, otherwise you'll get eaten. Uh, and then, oh, what the hell is that? I don't know quite know what's going on there, but it looks like he's jumping over something. But it doesn't look like a shark. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one is, how long is this one? This one's like, oh, this one's 81 minutes, so it's even less. And the funny thing is, you're always guaranteed to get artwork on a DVD disc. I don't think I've bought one DVD disc, you know, of this type of film from a supermarket or anywhere that's had a silver disc. It's always had artwork. So I don't know what the problem is, Blu-rays and 4Ks. You should all be doing artwork. Yeah, anyway, that's shark bait. So I look forward to watching that one as well. Uh, the last thing I picked up was in the charity shop, uh, Cancer Research. They only had a few Blu-rays, nothing I was really tempted by. But then I saw this. I have heard of it, but I have not seen a single episode. I found this, which is the complete series of Gilmore Girls, which I believe is an American show. Um, although it says a complete series, I think there maybe it might have been a reboot or a, a new one afterwards. For, um, stick it down in the comments if there is, because I'm not sure. But uh, I have heard of this show. I've just never seen a single episode. But it comes in this really nice box. Uh, it does have a bit of a, I don't know if you can see it, a bit of a spine slash there. Not right down, but I don't care. But this was, if you can see that, this was five pounds. So this contains seven seasons. So yeah, you just take the top off like that. And then we have all of the DVD seasons in there, all seven seasons. So I thought that was pretty good for five pounds. I did look on Amazon. Um, I think Amazon wanted to take like 40 quid for it, for this box. Um, eBay, I looked... There was a couple of sellers actually selling this exact same box and they were about the £20 mark. So five quid is a good deal. A very good deal. So let's just take these out. Uh, now, I believe um, Melissa McCarthy is actually in this. I don't know if she's in the whole thing, but uh, that's one of the main reasons I got the series. Because, yes, I do like Melissa McCarthy. Not in everything, but... Um, in some stuff okay and i did check all of these while i was in the charity shop and they are all mint minty fresh okay so i'll just quickly run through them so we have the first season and uh they do have multiple discs so they all have artwork on the discs and they have a couple of trays but yeah, I checked every single one of these discs. I was in there for a good 20 to 30 minutes and they are all minty fresh. So that is season one. I don't believe I recognise any of the actresses though. Not those two. Uh, it does say Melissa McCarthy. It stars Lauren Graham and Alexis Bledel. I'm not, I'm not familiar with those. So maybe that's um, Amer they're American daytime actresses or something. 
that was season one and then at season two again lots of lovely discs with artwork and then we have season three now just looking at the pictures it looks like a kind of like a family i don't know desperate housewives type thing wonder years but uh stick it down in the comments because I, I have no idea what this series is about obviously it's about girls so i should imagine it's is it about maybe the mum and the, 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 the daughter i don't know uh, and then we have the complete fourth season it does it looks like it looks like it's a bit of a relationship thing oh that one's come out but it's perfectly fine let me just slip that one back under there we go so discs with artwork lovely and then we have the complete fifth season so far i can't see a picture of melissa mccarthy so maybe she was only supporting oh Someone's put that one in the wrong place. There we go. Oh, there she is. God blimey, she's young there. Flipping Nora. Uh, <laughs> it's really weird because you can see on this cover, you know, this the, the, the woman here, the actress here stays the same. But as I've been going through the seasons, you can see the, the daughter, actually, if it's the daughter, actually ageing by box set by box set very strange fantastic lots, lots more yeah there she is you recognize her now there and uh, i recognize him as well where is it i can't see that guy down there he's been in something I think he might have been in a legal series, like The Practice or something. And uh, there's the final season, uh, season seven. As I say, stick down in the comments if there was maybe another season or a reboot or, or they did a movie. Oh, careful, Paul. Oh, somebody put that one in wrong as well. Probably me when I was checking them in the shop. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if you can see behind the discs, you've got episode guides as well. So that's pretty good. So this is going to take a little while to get through because I don't know how long the episodes are. Um, it looks like each season is about 884 minutes. So maybe they're the old format of like 45 minutes to an hour. Because there's 22 episodes on here. So I should imagine... Um, back in the day, you know, we used to get like 24 to 26 episodes per season, you know, especially with the old Star Trek days. Uh, and now they're like, what, well, usually about 10 episodes, 10 to 12 episodes. So there we go. Fantastic. So that is the Gilmore Girls. As I say, I really don't have any knowledge really about what it's about, but i look forward to watching it i think that's a good deal i think that's a good deal of five quid for a nice box set like that so there we go that is everything then today so i've got the gilmore girls i got the uh the two shark movies blah, 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 and also have firestarter as well and i picked up jb jj abrams <laughs> he was on the shelf yeah still think that's a cool pose i've seen him doing that pose I'll send him doing that pose. Fantastic. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. As usual, stick down below. What have you had delivered this week? What have you picked up? Uh, I noticed that the big Rambo box sets have actually been pushed back on Zavi. So they've been pushed right back to the end of September, which is just as well, really, because we already have a big release coming out next week anyway with dog soldiers so that's just as well 
yeah plus we also have light year coming out in a couple of weeks so yeah so thanks for watching everybody and i shall see you on the next video very soon bye bye oh yeah before you go no don't go yet uh, i had a couple of deliveries this week uh, including everything everywhere all at once this is the german media book really nice artwork on the discs i did an unboxing for it and uh, it's got some nice pictures in there yeah the text is in german but uh, it's still a nice addition titles in english uh, and i did check it and yes the mandarin parts have english subtitles so you can pick this one up amazon germany and you know that you can watch it it's in english and uh, dolby atmos soundtrack with the uh, english subtitles for the uh, the foreign the foreign dialogue also finally i have my spider-man no way home 3d release come in from uh was it random space media i think they're called yeah so that's that's really good so yeah love that we've managed to get this in 3d hopefully uh we might get some other ones in 3d as well um a doctor strange in the multiverse of madness will be fantastic if we can get that in 3d i know it's available in japan i think but pff, i'm not paying those prices yeah so that was uh the australian release so yeah, that's it, and uh, thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> See you next time.